In this lesson, I'd like to show some further functions concerning capturing. However, not in great detail, as we have covered the most important basic features. One thing we haven't looked at is that we don't need to capture video and audio together, but we can selectively capture audio and video separately. So I can decide before import whether just video or audio material should be captured. Via batch capture, we have seen that we have the possibility to record just audio or video. And relative to this, we have sub-functions for the set in and set out point. These are set video in point or set audio in point. And with this, I can specify entries for the capture list with which only audio or video will be captured. There is also the possibility to record directly into the timeline. And I'd like to show this now. So I'll let my player run. And I'll use one of these two buttons. Here we have Overwrite to Timeline. Overwrite replaces material that is already at the position in the timeline. We have seen this previously. This is the same as when inserting from the bin. And with Insert, we have the option to move the data already placed in the timeline before the new material is inserted. So I'll let it run and click on Overwrite to Timeline. And because there was a duration specified previously, the length of recording is already specified. Of course, I don't need to stick to this. I can at any time say stop here. And I'll call this direct to timeline. And now I can see that this clip has been placed directly in the timeline on my destination track.